coincides with Nandu. So the COVID crisis is upon us. And the big question in people's minds is what's going to happen as a result of the COVID crisis? What happens to businesses? What happens to my jobs? What happens to the stock market? Which sectors will do well? Very valid questions. The first thing to recognize is that COVID-19 is basically going to take a lot of the underlying trends that existed before COVID-19 and some of those trends are going to get accelerated. So you will have sectors within the economy that are winners and you will have sectors that are losers. Depending on how long this crisis lasts and chances are it is going to last more than three to four months which normally is sufficient to trigger a substantial behavioral change in people. Sectors, and we see this happening already, sectors that are consumed in home are actually starting to see a substantial amount of growth, whether it's food in home consumption or hygiene products in home consumption or pharmaceuticals that are in home uh, consumption. Uh, or uh, tonics uh, or so on, or indeed entertainment or anything to do with the internet or Wi-Fi or connectivity or news or discovery channel, all in-home or education, all in-home consumption channels are actually growing quite a lot. At the same time, the channels that are stressed are those that are consumed out of home. So you see the tremendous drop in hotels, Occupancy rates have dropped 70 80 percent. Airlines, uh, you have uh, you know Singapore Airlines, Lufthansa, etc., where they've dropped 95 uh, percent their business. Hertz recently in the US filed for bankruptcy because people aren't hiring cars anymore. So anything that's out of form, whether it's travel, hotels, restaurants, or even real estate, is going to be really, really stressed. The question is, are some of these underlying changes going to last in the long term? We don't know, but probably some behavioral changes will last. For example, the people have discovered that working from home can be reasonably efficient. So a lot of big companies like Twitter, like Facebook, etc. have announced that they will start to encourage more and more in-home working on a longer term basis, even after the crisis. There are other companies like TCS who have said that uh, perhaps they will allow their employees to work one day a week in the office and four days a week from home, which means the amount of real estate that they require is going to get quite small compared to what they had earlier. So this sector that was already in crisis is going to be even more stressed and further that we come back and stress the travel sector as business people discover that they don't have to fly 5,000 kilometers for a meeting, that they can have efficient, pragmatic, practical and result oriented meetings over a good video connection. So these behaviors are going to change and the implications for you as a company differ depending on which part of uh, this uh, sectoral shift you are in but there are some underlying responses that are common irrespective of which sectors you are in. So let's take both of these in turn. First, if you're in the sectors that are already seeing growth, your biggest challenge is going to be how to keep supply chain up and running at a time when distribution channels may be disrupted or access to raw materials may be disrupted. How do you keep your employees working? How do you keep them safe? How do you keep them motivated? All of these are very valid concerns and you may have to scale up to meet the increased demand that is coming. Yeah? And there is still a role for communication and the communication that is more effective is that that comes with a leadership stance. And we see some companies actually doing things like this, like Unilever in India with Lifebuoy where they encourage people to wash their hands with any soap. But that is the stance of a leader, right? So those sectors are growing and they bring very interesting challenges for companies that are positioned, well positioned to ride this wave of growth. For companies who are in the stressed sectors, the question is different. The first question is how to survive the short term. And so what do you do with controlling costs? How do you keep your employees on board and motivated? 
while you prepare for the bounce back of the economy eventually and hopefully right the growth with it how do you survive until then so the short term need is one of survival the medium term need is can i pivot in some way my business to take advantage of the changes in consumer behavior that are occurring that are underlying for both of these sectors the winning sectors and the losing sectors however there are some more underlying questions that come in response to a crisis and the fundamental choice that people have to make is how to respond to a crisis there are basically two kinds of responses that we can make as individuals one we can respond to a crisis as a threat and second we can respond to a crisis as an opportunity so the question is which of these responses works better in responding to a crisis leave your thoughts on the comments below and i look forward to discussing these thoughts with you in our next video which i do hope you will tune into see you soon